Hello guys, welcome back to another video again. This is, of course, Premier League predictions, um, game week eight of the week. Then, if you haven't already, <coughs> subscribe and like this video. On the road to 700 like, I keep saying, so it'll mean a lot if you can get me to that. But let's get into these prime predictions. So we're starting off with Spurs versus West Ham United. Um, you know, a bit of a London derby. Spurs are sitting in ninth. West Ham are sitting in 12th. Um, Spurs, last time I'm throwing this 2-0 lead away against Brighton to lose 3 Two, uh, but before that, they they was winning games and yeah, there there was some good run of form. Uh, West Ham, however, uh, got their uh, got their second win of the season last time out against Ipswich at home. Got their first home win actually against Ipswich, four one winners. But I think Spurs are just going to be too strong for West Ham at home. Yes, it's a London derby, so anything can happen. But I'm going to back Spurs with a 2 0 victory. I think they'll get a clean sheet and win. Next game, it is, of course, Fulham versus Aston Villa. Uh, I'll be doing a match preview for this. Uh, but Fulham, you know, they've been very good at the minute. They are sitting eighth. Uh, they've got some good players going forward, draw away. Amy S, Smith Rowe, Aroby. They have some good players going forward. They're taking on my team, Aston Villa. Got all the injuries back now. Uh, Mings will be back. Kamal will be back. John McGinn will be back. Uh, Onana will be back. Konsa will be back. Everyone will be back. So it'll be interesting to see what Unai Emery goes with the line of will he bring a couple of players in what been out for a long like Mings or Kamara or will he rest them on the bench and maybe bring them on um, we'll have to see but it's going to be a very good game away against Fulham I think a tough game uh, you know it wouldn't surprise me if we do maybe lose our first away game but we're still unbeaten away and we're sitting fifth in the league um, you know, Fulham lost against City last time out. Villa are quite against United. I've been doing a match preview, but I'm going to go to 1-1. Uh, I think this is going to be a draw. Yeah, I'm going to go 1-1 draw. Next game, it is Ipswich Town against Everton. Uh, Ipswich are sitting in 17th. Everton are sitting in 16th. Ipswich are still yet to win a game but they're very good at home uh they do give teams a good go at home um in their last five games they've drawn four and lost one um you know them chores was against it um, villa at home southampton away brighton away and fulham at home um yeah they're very good side at home um and that's probably going to keep them up because I think away is you know, going to be very uh, troubling. Um, their next away game will be against Brentford as well. What's going to be a very tough game. But I can see them beating Everton. I think Everton, you know, they're, they're three games unbeaten. They are coming on top now, to be fair. Their start of the season very poor for you. 2-0 leads away against Bournemouth and Villa. Uh, they get battered by Spurs and Brighton. But last three games, they have turned on. Uh, I watched them against Newcastle. I thought they was very good. Um, and, of course, they beat Palace in their last three games. They've drawn two games and uh, one. Um, I am going to back it so it's done. They're at home. I think they'll win their first game. I'm going to go 2-0 win to Ipswich Town. Let's go. Man United against Brentford. Uh, Man United are sitting in 14th. Brentford are sitting in 11th. Brentford have scored loads of goals in the first minute uh, lately. Of course, they beat Wolves last time out 5-3. Um, they scored in the second minute um, in that game, but they are scoring early in most games. 
then before they threw against West Ham, scored in the first minute. Then before that, they uh, they lost three one against Spurs, scored in the first minute. Um, then of course they lost two one against City, scored in the first minute. Um, last time out, they didn't score in the first minute was against Southampton, but they do score in the first half. Brentford, um, I think it only one time what they. And scored uh, in the game and in the first half and that was against Liverpool the second game of the season but they're taking on Man United who have been very awful I thought against Villa they was okay I thought both teams was very average um, but yeah I thought Man United was okay against Villa that probably the best I've seen them play um, but they have won in uh, five. Uh, the last win was of course EFL Cup seven nil win against Barnsley, but uh, the last win in the league was a three nil victory away against Southampton. The last home win though was against Fulham, uh, on the first game of the season. So they want to win at home, um, and I think going against Brentford is always going to be a very Tough game, they're very good side. I like uh, Thomas. Um, what's his name? Um, Thomas Frank, I like him as a manager. But you see, Brentford they've got loads of injury, like Man United. Brentford have Aaron Nicky, uh, Gaffo, Nunes out, Thiago, uh, Silva, Jensen, Devon Soki, Wicker Henry, and Wissa. And Man United, Harry Maguire, Mainu, Yeno, Ganacho apparently is out, but I don't know if that's true. Lucho, uh, that Okwati, uh, Mason Mount, and that Makako. So, both teams have loads of injuries out, we do know that. Um, I'm going to back Brentford and go 3 1 wing to Brentford. I think they'll score a couple, I think they've got two. I think it could be 2 1 either way or maybe a draw, but I bet Brentford with a 3 1 win. I think they'll score early on as well. Um, next game Newcastle United against Brighton. Uh, if they'll be in Newcastle, are sitting in 7th. Brighton are sitting in 6th. Um, I think both teams are very good, and I think both teams are going to be up there at the end of the season. Um, you know, you look at Newcastle United coming off of a nil nil game to unfortunately Anthony Gordon against his whole club, Mr. Penn. I think they're in the middle, they can go toe to toe against some big boys like Man City. They got a point, uh, 1 1. They're very good at home, Newcastle. Um, we know that, and they are unbeaten at home. Um, yeah, they're unbeaten at home. But Brighton, I think they're a good side. They do concede goals at times. Um, they've only lost one game this season, and that was against Chelsea away. So I'm going to back Brighton. I think it could be a or Newcastle win, but I'm going to back Brighton with a 2 1 win. I think they'll just get a late goal to win that game. Next game. Southampton against Leicester City, Southampton 19th, Leicester 15th, uh, I think Leicester will stay up this season, I think they'll just have too much, uh, I think it'll be worse the teams than them, Leicester getting their first win last time um, against Bournemouth with a 1-0 win at home, still not one away though, um, you know, we know how good Leicester can be at times, you know, they've got some good play like Jamie Vardy, um, you know, Jamie Vardy is a very good striker at times. Uh, and yeah, I think taking on the Southampton side, who have only picked up one point this season, they've lost their last 2 3 1. And they actually went 1 0 up against Arsenal. Um, but yeah, I think Southampton need to try and put up a performance at home. Um, you know, not winning the game. They're only 
point coming against Ipswich uh, at home. Um, so I'm going to back Leicester to get another clean sheet and another one. I'm going to go 1-0 Leicester. Uh, I think they'll just nick it. I think it'll be... I think Southampton will put up a performance and have a couple of good chances, but I just think they don't have a main striker what can finish at times. Um, Cameron Archer is a very good striker, but is it a Premier League quality? Um, so, yeah, I'm going 1-0 Leicester. I think they'll score a late goal. Next game, it is Bournemouth against Arsenal. Um, Bournemouth are sitting in 13th. Arsenal are sitting in 3rd. Um, you know, Bournemouth, we know how good they can be. They did lose last time out, though, but before that, they beat Southampton. But then before that, they lost the last um, two. Um, when Bournemouth lose, they don't score. I've seen that. They've lost the last, well, they lost three games this season. And all them defeats, they ain't scored in. 1-0 defeat against Leicester. 3-0 defeat against Liverpool and a 1-0 defeat against Chelsea. So, we've seen that uh, two of them was away, um, to be fair. Taking on that Arsenal side, who at times can be very mad because I think they do put up good performances. We know that the last two seasons finishing second. Um, but, we know that they can be very just, yeah, they don't pull performances at times. But I know that they beat Southampton last time out 3-1, uh, then beat PSG in Chimney there. I think they're what? Well, they, they haven't lost the game this season. They're still unbeaten. Um, you know, they're very... You know, I think it's only them and Manchester City who are unbeaten in the Premier League. Even top of the Liverpool have lost a game this season. Um, What's well, very mad. But I'm going to back Arsenal. I think they'll just win. I think it's going to be tough because it's at Bournemouth. And Bournemouth can be a good side against some big boys. Um, Of course, Villa got Bournemouth next weekend. I'm going to back Arsenal to win 2-1. I think Arsenal will just nick it, but I think it's going to be a very tough one. Next game, then, it is Wolves against Manchester City. Well, Wolves are sitting bottom of the league with only one point. Manchester City are sitting second. Um, look, Wolves, I think they can put up performances and score goals, but they... Their defensively is shocking. Look, 4 3 defeat last time out against Bournemouth. Uh, not Bournemouth, Brentford. They've scored three goals in the game, and when you score three goals, you should be winning the game. And look, they considered five. Like, it's, it's, it ain't great. It really isn't. Um, and I do. Uh, will I say I feel bad for Wolves because I don't like Wolves, but. I think you have to feel full of fans um, going every single week, paying a ticket and seeing that shocking performance, well, shocking conceding goals. Um, you know, they've, they've lost 5-3 uh, against Brentford. They, I watched them against Liverpool. I thought they were very good and then was unlucky to not get something out of that at home. Um, then, of course, against Villa, I watched them then. Um, there was much a better team first half than last 20 minutes, shall we? Well, last 15, well, last 20, 25 minutes, Villa got, when Villa got that first goal, then, yeah, it was all loss. Um, so yeah, I watched them then, I watched them against Liverpool, and I think you do feel for their fans, but the goals they concede, they've conceded what, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 21 goals already. And they've scored 4, 5, um, 6, 7, 8, 
10, 11, 13 goals. They've scored 13 goals, conceded 21, is it? Uh, when is that? 8, 9, uh, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, 19. 24 goals they conceded if you count the cup. So it's mad. They've scored 13 goals, conceded 24 goals. They do score goals, and I think you have to feel for Wolves. But going against a Manchester City side who have come off with a 3 2 win against Fulham, um, you know, a very good win there. I think they're a very good side, City. Um, we know that. And I think they'll just be too strong for Wolves. So I think Wolves will <coughs> score again. <coughs> um, but I'm gonna go. <coughs> so, but um, I'm gonna go three one City. I think Wolves will score, but I'll go three one City. Let's get in a big game of the week. Uh, it is between Liverpool taking on Chelsea. Uh, Liverpool, of course, we know they're sitting top of the league, taking on fourth place Chelsea. It's going to be a very good game, this. Uh, Liverpool coming off with a 1 win against Crystal Palace. I, p I did watch a game, but apparently they should have put 4 5 past Palace. Uh, missed big chances. They've lost one game this season, and that was against Forest at home, so they won't be in a way. Taking on Chelsea, who coming off with a 1 1 against Forest. Um, I think this will be a draw, to be fair. I'm going to go with 1 1. I think people are saying, oh, it's going to be a Desmond 2 2, but I'll go 1 1. I think both teams will, you know, Liverpool will go 1 0 at Chelsea. Maybe Gay close in the second half, and, and I think it's going to be a good game and a 1 1 draw. And the last game, it is on Monday night Nottingham Forest taking on Crystal Palace. Nottingham Forest are sitting in 10th place, Crystal Palace are sitting in 18th. Um, Forest coming up with a 1 1 in Chelsea, but haven't won in three. Uh, they are trying to go off now. Uh, form and they, they'll want to try and win, get back to winning ways here. And Crystal Palace, they ain't won in what five, six, seven was they ain't even won a game um, this season. So I think Forest will get a clean sheet and a win. I, I'll go 2 0 to Forest. There you go, guys. That's my Premier League predictions game with eight. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and like, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.